Hello everybody, my name is Perry Hall and today we're going to show you how to develop black and white film from your home. This is the kit that you need. So you need a light seal tank, reels, chemicals, graduates, and a thermometer. This is what you need to develop from your home. Today we'll be working with the developing tank. Underneath every tank there is a cheat sheet to help you for how many cc's of water you will need for your film or films. As you can see underneath this tank, to develop one roll of 35 millimeter film, you will need 375 cc's of water. The film developer chemical is simply to develop your film. In order to prepare the developing solution, we will have to play with chemistry. The key to preparing the perfect solution is knowing the dilution ratio, the ratio of solute to solvent, which is generally written in the back of the bottles or the labels of chemicals you are using. In the case of this, the RC Maga film developer, we know that the dilution ratio is 1 plus 39 equals 40. One part solvent plus 39 parts solute, which is water. As we learned from the back of the tank earlier, we know that to develop one 35 millimeter roll, we will need 375 cc's of water. This 375 cc's of water will represent the 39 parts that will add to the one part of solvent needed to create the perfect solution. How do we determine how much is in one part? We do this by taking the total amount of water needed and dividing it by 40. In this case, 375 cc's of water divided by 40 equals roughly 9 cc's of solvent. For this developing solution, we will dilute 9 cc's of solvent with 375 cc's of water. We have 9 cc's of film developer and we're going to add this into here. Add 375 cc's of water. So, you have your film developer done. Guys, always make sure you label this so you don't get confused, okay? So, from your film developer, to your stop bath, to your fixer, everything needs to be 20 degrees Celsius. Most importantly, the film developer needs to be 20 degrees Celsius. Perfect. 20 degrees Celsius It's the perfect temperature. So, film developer is done. We're just gonna put this over here. Next, we're gonna move on to stop bath. Stop bath is to stop the film from being developed any further. This is your second step for processing your film. As we did for the film developer to prepare the perfect developing solution, the RC Maga stop bath dilution ratio is one plus 19 equals 20. We will take 375 cc's and divide that by 20 which comes out to 1875, which I will round off to 19 cc's of stop bath. So as we did last time for the film developer, we're gonna put this in, and then we're gonna add 375 milliliters of water. All right, 375 cc's of water with the 20 cc's of stop bath right here. And we have your stop bath is done. Like I said, guys, make sure you label these. This is very important so you don't get confused in the future. All right, guys, let's check your temperature. Make sure it's 20 degrees Celsius. This one's running a little cold. So we're gonna turn on the hot water and try to get it up to temperature. Alright guys, if you look right there, 20 degrees Celsius, right on the money. 
Stop bath is done. So guys, we're gonna just jump right into this onto Fixer. Fixer is pretty much everything that is going to fix the rest of the film so it's not so cloudy and uh, it really straightens out everything. This is the last and final stage process before you move on to wash bath. The dilution ratio for Fixer is a bit different due to the timing of your film. The dilution for this certain Fixer and this three to five minute film is one plus five equals six. As we did the division for the film developer and the stop bath, we would do the same for our fixer, which is 375 cc's, divide that by six, we get 62.5 to get the perfect solution. I'm going to make sure this is 62.5 right on the money, so I'm just gonna do so you see right here, 62 cc's. Always put your first parts chemical, second parts water, that's very important. So we got fixer right here. Like I said, it's very important to label, so yeah. Fixture is the final stage. We're gonna check the temperature real quick. Make sure it's at 20 degrees Celsius. Oof, it's a little cold. Let's get some heat on this baby. All right, the fixer is at 20 degrees Celsius. And later, we'll worry about this wash bath. This is the last Thing you need to do in order to make your film flat. We'll get into that later. All right guys, so we did our chemicals preparation, which they're absolutely perfect at 20 degrees. Everything's actually perfect on the back when it comes down to their, their parts for the chemicals. And now it's time to have some fun. We're gonna start developing in, the, in our bathroom, the AKA my dark room. All right guys. Unfortunately, like I, like I said, I, I develop in my bathroom, so I can't really show you how to do this process, but it needs to be pitch black, dark, anywhere you develop in your house. So you can also black out your windows, uh, but I'll show you how I do mine. All right guys, like I said, lights out. Obviously guys, as you saw, it was lights out. And inside of here is the film from here. I'm gonna to try to give you a visual step-by-step -step of what I did in order to get this film into here. So I shut off all the lights, I blacked out the whole room. I couldn't see anything. I took this can opener and I cracked it from the top and out came the film. I slowly processed the film into the reel and turned and turned and turned until at the end, I cut it. I put this reel inside this light sealed tank and here we have it. We have the, the film inside. Now we're gonna do the developing stage. If you're just starting out, I highly suggest this app called Mass Dev. It's right here. And so, these are some of the, my times that I've used, but we're gonna go and start brand new. Today, we're doing Ilford HP5400. Ilford HP5 Plus, and our developer today is RCMago FD1 Plus 39. I shot it in ISO 400, and this is the time for it five minutes and 15 seconds at 20 degrees Celsius. This is just a, like a no brainer app that I use. Actually, I use a lot and it's just really basic and really simple and it makes your life a lot easier. So let's just get started. Right now we're doing the uh, RC Mago Film Developer High Energy. All right, let the fun begin. Put the 
first minute, you're going to rotate it as so, like this. For one full minute. All right, guys, I'm done with this minute. Let it rest and settle. Right now, I'm doing the film developer first. This is the part that develops the film from the blank negative into your photos that you shot. Sometimes I like to move it around a little bit. Just a little pet peeve I have. First minute, you move the chemicals around to get them moving. And then you, the next minute, you let it settle. For the rest of the time, the first 10 seconds, you usually move them around and then let it sit for the next 50 seconds. All right, as so. For the Ilford HP5, it's five minutes and 15 seconds. And so we still, we're on two minutes and 30 seconds right now. So we're just gonna repeat this process a few more times until we are done with the film developer. All right guys, that's the end of the film developer. Now, the second step, stop bath. Stop bath stops the film development. And always with stop bath that I noticed, in all the film that I've ever done, it's always just one minute of this. That's it. Also guys, with Film Developer, you cannot use it again. With Stop Bath and Fixer, you can use them a few times. I personally use them probably about twice. All right, our minute's almost up. And I'm just gonna put this back in the bottle, like I said, to reuse it for next time. So now guys, we're doing the fixer. Fixer is pretty much what solidifies the rest of the film developing. Without fixer, your negatives will come out really cloudy and undone. So it's important to always use fixer. So for the first two minutes, it's exactly the same as it was for the film developing as it is for the fixer. So you're going to do the rotation like this for the first minute straight, and then the second minute, you're always gonna let it settle. And then you're gonna do this for 10 seconds. For the rest of the 50 seconds, let it rest. We are almost done. Two more minutes. Five minutes of fixer is done. I'm gonna put it back in here because I'm gonna reuse it for next time. Like I said, between stop bath and fixer, you can reuse it again. As for film developer, you cannot. You must make it every single time. So now we're at the final stages. We gotta get this out of here. We gotta get this out of here right now. And then put it underneath cold water like this, and it's time to wash these babies off. Get all these chemicals out of here. I'm just gonna let, let the water run through this about five minutes, and then I'm gonna set up the wash mat. Um, is a little pro tip, use distilled water because if you use hot water from the fountain, it really just kind of doesn't clean off your negatives very well. And we don't want to do that in the future. You kind of want flat, clean negatives. And just a little pro tip, use distilled water. I promise you, you'll thank me in the, in the future. So, I usually just go like this, put a little bit of water, I personally don't do measurements. Other people may do it. It's 
is 99 parts water, one part chemical. We're only doing one roll of film. Ta-da! And that's it. Just put a cap full in there, and we're just gonna wait one second while the rest of this water runs. So I just let the water run for about five minutes through these negatives. They're trying to clear out all the chemicals that have been processed through the film. Just give it one more run through water and then we're gonna get these negatives out and see how they look. Pretty excited guys. This is the beauty of film photography. I just personally love doing this every time. And it's just it's just really rewarding for me personally. So guys, this is where the fun part is got here. Ooh, did we do this right or did we not do this right? That's that's the big question. All right, guys. Oh, as always, man, I'm all teeth right now. I'm so happy this happens. You'll never get this on an SD card. So I'm gonna put this in the wash bath. And get these nice and flat. The, the most important thing about wash, the wash bath is that it keeps it nice and stab and flat. So it's exactly like this. So let's say for example, you wanted to put these in a scanner or if you ever wanted to make a print, you're always gonna need your negatives really flat. So wash bath is very important for the very final process. So you wanna do this probably for like each film with wash bath, go back and forth like this. This is just my personal way of doing it. Everybody's different. I'm pretty sure you can find different ways of doing this on YouTube. I'm just giving you my personal ways that I've learned throughout the years of developing my own film. I do this for about each film, about a minute. I put them through wash bath and then I keep them exactly like this. All right, happy camper as always. All right, guys, let's go hang these. And so that's it, guys. This is the final, this is the last and final part is, and it's also the, the most rewarding part is to be able to do, to do this. Just hang them. You can hang them with bobby pins like this. This is what I do. As you can see, I just keep them close to my area and let them dry for about five to six hours just to be safe. If you really want them to fully dry out, I highly suggest 24 hours. So guys, as you can see, I've been doing this for a very, very, very long time. This has all been developed by me throughout the years. Thousands and thousands of rolls. Thousands and thousands of euros. Kids, don't shoot analog, because then you'll be doing this. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, comment, and hopefully we see you next episode. I just want to thank a few people. I want to thank RC Mago for supplying us with the film and also the chemicals as well. I want to thank my lovely wife, Eleonora Kata. And yeah, hopefully, guys, we see you next episode. Peace.